This is the face of a survivor. When police officers arrived at this house, they found a helpless Jacqueline Durand naked on the floor, surrounded by two vicious dogs that had just attacked and bitten her over 800 times. Sam, can you hear me? Are you the only one inside? Is the big dog right next to you? The dog bites had ripped off her ears, nose, and face, and she had lost 30% of the blood in her body. If the first responders couldn't get past these aggressive animals to help Jacqueline, she would die on the floor where she first met the dogs just days earlier. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jacqueline had been working as a dog sitter for about seven years before this fateful night. During her routine meet and greet with the dogs a few days before the attack, they seemed well behaved. And their owners assured her the dogs would be crated when she arrived to watch them. But that wasn't the case. When Jacqueline entered the house, the dogs attacked her so quickly that she didn't have time to close the door behind her. And if she had closed the door, she'd probably be dead. During the attack, Jacqueline wasn't able to call for help, but luckily the home's alarm system was triggered by the front door being left open, alerting first responders. Above the open door was a sign that read, Crazy dogs, please don't knock or ring the bell. Were the negligent dog owners ever punished for the attack? Have three kids, you know, one's three years old. No, no history of violence, none. How many hours of emergency surgery were needed to save Jacqueline's life that night? And what does she look like now after her long road to recovery? Okay, now we want to introduce you to another kind of survival story about the less harrowing but still challenging aspects of life. Imagine this scenario, a busy summer schedule, exciting plans, and no time to prep meals. Sounds familiar, right? Well, this is where Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, swoops in for the rescue with delicious, nutritious meals dropped right to your doorstep. Fully prepped and ready in just two minutes. No grocery runs, no more kitchen mess, just heat and enjoy. And Factor's offerings are as varied as the challenges we face every day, from calorie smart and protein plus meals catering to the health conscious survivors to gourmet surf and turf options for those who crave a little bit more indulgence. They provide over 34 dynamic options each week and over 45 add-ons to make sure you're well equipped for your daily adventures. I went with the vegan option because I'm trying to cut down on dairy. My mouth is already watering looking at all the delicious meals that will be on my doorstep any day now. Factor is also an ally in your budget survival. It's cheaper and faster than takeout. And they're committed to sustainable practices with 100% emission offsets and renewable energy sourcing. If you want to get nourished and ready for whatever life throws at you, head to factormeals.com slash survive50 and use code survive50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code survive50 at factormeals.com slash survive50 for 50% off your first box. Now let's get back to our story. Turn now to the Bronx, where a young girl was viciously attacked by a pit bull. She was just starting her career as a model, but Brooklyn Curry's life changed forever when her cousin's pit bull attacked her. Dog attacks are more common than you might think. Between 2005 and 2017, there were a total of 433 deaths caused by dogs in the United States. But on the night of December 23rd, 2021, Jacqueline Durand was determined not to become just another statistic. When first responders arrived at the scene of the attack, it took them 37 minutes before they were able to enter the home because the dogs were being so aggressive. By the time they got inside, Jacqueline had already sustained over 800 
100 dog bites and lost 30% of the blood in her body. She was rushed to a trauma center where she underwent seven hours of emergency surgery before her parents were even notified. She had to be resuscitated on the trauma table. Multiple times. I was just glad to see her alive. Her whole face was totally bandaged. They had her in an induced coma for over a week. Since then, she's gone through 18 reconstructive surgeries, plus physical and mental therapy on her road to recovery. But what about the dog owners? Have their lives been impacted as much as Jacqueline's? Well, the short answer is no. The owners never faced criminal charges, but they were slapped with a $1 million lawsuit from Jacqueline. The lawsuit accuses the couple of being careless as they allegedly didn't control, secure, or train their dogs properly. Uh, what we have to prove is an examination of, of the dogs that we did after this attack, uh, which we believe shows that the dogs were dangerous and had vicious propensities. But now, Jacqueline has shifted her focus to more positive things, like being an example of what dog owners should do to prevent such attacks. I think it's the most important thing to communicate with visitors, sitters, whoever it is who walk into their homes to understand their pet's behavior and to acknowledge it and to make sure that they communicate it. She runs her own YouTube channel where she documents her recovery process and spreads her message worldwide. Jacqueline still has years of reconstructive surgeries ahead of her, but she also has the love and support of her family and her long-term boyfriend to help her get through it all. Even though we call dogs our best friends, we should always be cautious around them. Do you know the warning signs of a dog attack? Sometimes it's not as obvious as them baring their teeth. Sometimes, what you really need to pay attention to is their ears. Any time that you hear that a dog bit or attacked without any warning, it's not true. Find out more here on How to Survive. Ah!